Hello, I'm doing a book review, and the book I want to review is Batman Faces. Now, Faces is a graphic novel written and illustrated by Matt Wagner, and of course published by DC Comics, and this was published in 1992. Now, this was first published as a three-part comic book series, but later on those three parts were all put together in the form of one graphic novel. Now, I'll be honest, I actually, I read Faces a couple of months ago, but I did not reread it in preparation for this review, so I'm basing a lot of this review on memory. But from what I remember of this book, I'll be honest, it didn't really work for me. Like, I thought it started out really kind of slow. I really liked the last chapter, though. I would say by the third act of the story, it got really good. It's just... the. All of that, all the stuff leading up to that just didn't really work for me, and I, it's not a bad book by any means, but I could definitely say this is not one of my personal favorite Batman stories, even though I'm a huge Two-Face fan, and this is a Two-Face story, it's just, I don't know, this story just didn't really work for me, I found it to be a little forgettable, although once again, I really liked the last act of the story, but the plot of this story is pretty much Two-Face. Face, he escapes from Arkham Asylum, and he ends up kidnapping all these, like, deformed circus performers, and essentially he's kind of creating an army of these people, and he's really kind of forcing them to work for him, and Batman is now trying to stop Two-Face, and I will say by the end of the story, I really liked some of the social commentary that I think Matt Wagner was trying to touch on about how society views people with deformities, and you also, Two-Face, in his mind, thought he was saving these people from this life of from this life of being a freak, but it turns out a lot of these people enjoyed being circus performers, and really Two-Face is, even though in his mind he thought he was saving these people, really he was kind of, what he did was the ultimate insult to them because he was kind of deciding how they should live instead of them themselves deciding how they should live. So I really liked that aspect of the story, but once again, you don't really get that till like the last chapter of the book or the last issue of this comic book series. And also, since I'm a huge Two-Face fan, I did really like the characterization of Two-Face in this book, especially at the end where um, you get some really heartbreaking stuff at the end because Two-Face is a very tragic character and a very sympathetic character, and I would say... Overall, it's a decent Two-Face story, and it's not a bad book by any means, it's just, I can't say it's one of my personal favorite Batman stories. But yeah, that's my review on Batman Faces by Matt Wagner, and bye.